Bronte, what a way to win the Aramco Team Series London. It was a fascinating final round. What were you thinking after the 13th hole? Um, well, it wasn't my best hole, uh, so uh, I had to stay mentally strong, had to, um, you know, set my head straight before I got on the next tee box. Um, you know, I did that and hit the, hit the best shot I could have hit, uh, really, on that hole. Um, but yeah, just knew I had to battle. It's never over until it's over. And, uh, you know, I guess that kind of showed at the end there. You hit a tremendous shot into 14, very nearly made a birdie, but it was aggressive play. And those crucial birdies that you made at 15 and 16 to get you right into contention. But then when you came to the 18th, did you know what you had to do staring at a 50 foot putt on the 18th green? Uh, well, yeah, I kind of did. Had a good look at that leaderboard, was waiting for it to, you know, scroll back up to the top uh, so I could see what happened with Georgia. I kind of figured she'd made birdie on 18, but then confirmed it and, you know, had a good read on the putt. But I mean, you know, you never really uh, can say like, oh, yeah, I knew that was going in. Um, but yeah, hit it and then saw it tracking towards the end and it went in. So, yeah, sigh of relief at that point. Sigh of relief and huge congratulations from the galleries around. This was a massive win. And when you think that you have players breathing down your neck like Georgia Hall and Hayley Davis, who you've grown up playing with, you know their game so well. Yeah, absolutely. It was a little strange. It was like being in, uh, you know, junior golf again. We've played golf since we were 12. You know, we've all come through the England golf setup. I kind of, you know, guess that's a testament to what England golf, um, you know, have done for the likes of us. And, um, you know, it was a pleasure to, to share the golf course with them today. Clearly, you love these Aramco Team Series events. What is it about you, though? Where does that grit and resilience come from? Whenever we talk about you, you know, we say you're like a little terrier out on the golf course. You never give up. Yeah, I don't know where you get that from. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess I just, you know, I'm competitive. I want to win, uh, so I won't go down without a fight. Um, and, you know, I think that that's a testament really to today. That's kind of just what I hope for, you know. I never know that I'm going to you know, end up with a win, but I will make sure that I give it my all in order to give myself a chance. And to have a putt like that on the final hole is what golfing dreams are made of, hey? Absolutely, yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, that's why we play this game. Uh, for moments like that and in front of a home crowd, you know, it doesn't really get any better. Your family were here. Everybody was cheering for you. It was a very stylish way to win. So many congratulations. And I would like to present the Aramco presentation party. What a pleasure it is to have Miss Shahad al from Gulf Saudi. We're also very pleased to have Miss Khalid Al-Zamil, the manager of corporate communications for Aramco, and to present the trophy. Can I please ask Mr. Ibrahim al Buenian, vice president of sales, trading and supply planning from Aramco. Please, sir, present the trophy to our winner, the Aramco Team Series London champion. It's Bronte Law.